Hey, hey guys, NinK78 back here with more Zero Time Dilemma. In the last one, Q became a superhuman punching robot. I guess, uh, maybe his helmet takes over. He never truly dies, and he just takes over and goes into other places for no reason whatsoever. He's, he broke the rules to get us for breaking the rules trying to use X-passes that don't exist in the history. Each history is different. You cannot cross over X passes. Uh, this is the only place where we could jump to where we just killed Akane. I couldn't avenge you. Akane? I. I just killed. <laughs> it's also possible that Q team is a, has at least one shifter. We know if Phi and Sigma are sh shapeshifters, as Diana seems to kind of be, but Diana seems to be on the bad one. No. Why is it Connie? Because I killed. Yeah, we killed her. Jubei and Akane were alive when Q was trying to kill us, but he was, like, trying to knock us out or something. This is... the history where Akane was killed. Yeah. I... Uh, I killed her. No, I didn't kill her. The one who did was me from this history. Oh, this can't be kept like this. I need what? to do something at oh, least. Oh, his arm. His arm. Um, although he took a Connie's bracelet, because we took, do we take her arm off or something? How did her bracelet come? Oh, my bracelet came the off. worked somehow. The pain's dull. Oh. Regardless, who was that kid? It's Q, uh, or who we know is Q. figure out who he is somehow. Yeah, there's one more thing I need to do. That vision I saw, I have to tell Q-Team. Q-Team of what? Search the family portrait. Oh, they need to search the family per portrait for the pod room. Now then, what's left is figuring out who that kid is. He, might he can't go to sleep anymore because his arm is cut off. That's actually a good thing, maybe. Hopefully. Suspicion is all cleared. Alright. That's for sure. And we could jump around now for... Things. I think the only thing that would make sense to jump to is back at the pod room. Wait, how would we... Do we have to go into the pod room itself? Hold on. Is there a hint in the portraits? No. Not in this... Not in this one, at least. Hi! Hello, Leo. How are you? There's not a hint here. And there's not a hint here. Okay. Alright, well, obviously, we have to jump to the pod room. I don't know if who killed if we have to start in the pod room itself or what i feel like if we start in the pod no there's no way we could get okay hang on it says search the family portrait and we know the family portrait is right here but we have to turn it around oh wait hold up actually uh within that fragment what if we go to the decision? Oh, wait. Is this implying that Carlos killed Mira? Maybe we could say that. Wait, Eric. I didn't kill Mira. You 
didn't. I think I think that's what he did he did kill Mir. Maybe he killed Mir to who did it. to get us to notice tell me something. The killer's name. <laughs> but I. Twenty seconds. That's all I'm giving you. You better tell me the truth. I. I don't like. He could have liars. easily strangled her, put her in the pod room, and then. Tell me. But he would have had to do that before, like, this footage could have been easily done before, right? Carlos, you didn't, did you? Carlos did, right? No one from Ward C is here! Oh. Of course, it's too obvious. That's not how it works. <laughs> yeah, no, that didn't work. <laughs> hmm. Okay, but... Is it... Are we sure I have to do it from C Team? Or do I have to do it from... No one from Q-Team could get here unless we do search the portrait. What if I... Can I have something different happen if I click on the... Next sequence? No, it keep, it wants you to fast forward. So, that's not it. Okay. Well, we know for sure I have to solve this room again, and most of it is slide puzzles in order to get the portrait to turn upside down. So, perhaps... Alright, I got the room reset. I got the room reset! There we go! Don't ignore the shotgun. No, no, no. Ignore the shotgun. We're ignoring... We're ignoring the shotgun. Now, this family portrait... Family? Eric, what is it? Is there something about this painting? Okay, um... No, this did not work. Because I touched it, and I... it. They're like, what is it? And they're like, I don't know. And I'm like, I don't know. So... It has to be somewhere else I'm missing, and I'm not really looking and paying attention to where it actually wants me to go. So... He shot the thing. Nothing is changing. Other than, like, I could claim it's Carlos. All I want. But I I have no idea, honestly, on who killed Mira. Like, we could assume it's Carlos. Have we decided what happens if we answered nothing? I'm gonna see what that does. Staying silent on the matter. Probably doesn't change. Oh wait, it doesn't let me fast forward. I don't know. This is different. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> do you do it? Did I do it? Fuck. So saying nothing was the answer. Nothing was the answer. Yeah, you can't get out now, but so ca Carlos can get out if he wants to, but I don't think he would. Hey, how could any of this even happen? Mira was everything to me. A lowly ice cream clerk and a beautiful goddess of a customer. She seemed like a rare flower, forever out of my reach. It made me happy just to see her smile from behind the counter. But I took her order, and, and we spoke for a bit. Day after day, we talked like that. Aww. I wanted to be with her. If she needed help, I wanted to be there. Yeah. I started to feel like I'd 
Well, I'd do anything for her. Mira was the one to ask me out the first time. Really? Every date after that, I took the initiative. The longer we dated, the more and more I came to like her. I really loved her. Somehow, I felt like she was a lot like my mother. To tell the truth, I don't really remember much about my mother anymore. Oh? She died when my brother and I were still pretty small. But, but she was a good cook, and liked things clean. She was always smiling. And above all, her gentleness and warmth are what I remember the most. Hmm. I guess putting it that way, her and Mira aren't very similar at all. But still, I felt something in who Mira is. Something that's a lot like her. Everything just seemed so bright after I met her. I couldn't help but think every day was great. I was going to propose. Oh. I scraped together all my money and bought an engagement ring. And then... Then... Why? Why did this have to happen? Hey, Eric. Let's work together to find the killer. I'm really sad Mira died, too. I'll never forgive the person who did it. That's why. Hmm? This is... Huh. Are those, like, burn marks? What? What is that scuff mark? Huh. And now Gab's on the way. What the? Gab. They're not going to trust Carlos so easily, though. We know we I could know shift it. and change, but like... What is it? It's a note. A note? Search, Search the family, the family portrait. portrait. Hey, where are you going? Back into the pod room to search the family portrait. There's something special about this? The note said to examine the family portrait. Who is it from? The air vent connects to Ward C, so I guess. <sighs> Carlos. This picture must have something. Wait. Maybe this is a trap? He did kill Junpei and Akane. Yeah. He could be planning to... I told you to hold on a minute! Let go! Let go of me! Oh. Whoa! What the... A door. It's a door. What's a door doing here? I don't know. This... Twin's birthday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Twin's birthday. Twin. I saw that on the yellow door. Twin's birthday? What does that even mean? What twin? Look, it's written right here. The twin's birthday, huh? Okay, I'm lost. What's the big deal? It's gotta be some kind of hint, I think. For what? Opening this door. But it's totally blank. There's no input screen or confirmation. That's probably our number to get yeah, into the... Keyholes or buttons or switches either. Either into the force quit box or into, uh... Hey! What are you doing? I'm checking Mira's body. Why? Well, maybe she was holding on to a remote or something like that. Wait! Let me do it. He wants to do it. Cause, aw, why do you, why? 
Have some respect, at least, when you research her body. No. She didn't have anything. Huh? There's something on her nails. Like she wrote something. Skin. And blood. Wait. Is this a Junko Enoshima thing? Well, it doesn't look like she has any external wounds. So that means... This isn't Mira's blood and skin? Well, she must have struggled with someone before she died. Killer should have scratches from Mira somewhere on their body. Should I take my clothes off? <sighs> but it's pretty strange. What is? Well, I thought up until now that Mira had been killed while she was asleep. After she'd been injected with the anesthetic. But if she put up a resistance... That means it was one of the previous things where she was awake. Oh. Now it is time for you to sleep. Oh, come on, Zero. Zero! Really? When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. You bastard! Plus <laughs> dreams. <laughs> he was trying to shoot the TV screen. What good is that gonna do? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Okay. Now, hold up. If you think about this correctly... Well, first of all, now we got this right. Um, okay. So, now that we connected these two... Diana and Sigma basically came from this timeline to get over here to this timeline. The eight... They came across the yellow door, and that door had the password of Twin's birthday. I, I think Twin's birthday is the answer. Did we see any birth, like, information? Oh, wait, hold up. This is unlocked. Oh. Oh, I see. It's the faxing thing, where it's the old versions of S Sigma and... Diana, because Sigma and Diana are also jumped to here, but that's because they faxed themselves over here. Uh, should I? I'll do it. It might be a little long, but it would be interesting to have it. Especially since I have to cut out some information about the <laughs> solving the room again anyways. Sigma. It's after 0230. I guess we're not going to be injected with the drugs. The game is over. Wait, who said it was There's twin? No to make One of sleep. the... Okay. Okay, hold she up. Will come back. Yeah, she will. Here's the thing. The twin theory actually... Who had twin? That was one of the... Uh... Oh, okay. Okay, so when you mess up and kill D and Q team? It's either on D team or Q team, but someone has twin associated with them. Right? So that's a hint. That was she a hint. Oh, well, that's a good hint. We'll be stuck here. Maybe Q um, has a twin. Sigma? Do you want to try again? Try again at what? Try what? Turning on the transporter. No, there's no it's need, because it's... We've tried a bunch of times already. We did everything we could, but... It's, it's a fast machine that only turns on every ten months. Once a transportation has occurred, it takes roughly ten months to recharge. But you only needed to go once. So, what should we do for now? I checked out the counter at the bar. Uh, seems like we're good on food for a while. How long will it last? Ten months. With frugal eating, we'll have enough for nine, no, ten months. That long? I did say frugally, didn't I? My calculations are based on half a can a day. Y you remembered to include Gab, right? Of course. There's no way I could abandon him. 
At least he won't be eaten. Let's rest for now. We'll figure things out when we wake up. For being asleep at 2.30 in the morning, I guess. Oh, it's the bomb in the room again. I don't like this room. What is it? Does something seem different about this now? Like what? I thought there were balls inside here. Are there not? Maybe it was your imagination? Which timeline had them in manufacturing? Because I don't think we're in that timeline. Eat. <sighs> I'm not hungry. Just do it. Aw, oh, he get the can himself. That's cute. Well, I knew you'd be in here. I, I actually don't really like this room. But when I'm here, I feel like there's a chance I could remember. Do you mean Phi? How did you... <laughs> I feel the same. For some reason, I can see her face when I come here. Do you know what this is? Oh, it is a circle. Hey, that's Phi's brooch. Oh, did I misspell brooch? Do you have it? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I might have done that. It was in my pocket for some reason. <sighs> Phi's safe, right? Yeah, if she's transported to another timeline, that I would truly be wish safe. that's true. Hmm. Hello? Please open the door. Open it. Why are you doing this to us? You can hear me, can't you, Zero? I know you're hiding somewhere. Just watching us! You could at least tell us why! Zero! Zero! I'm surprised the water still worked after we flooded the room, too. Oh, no, wait. In this timeline, we didn't do that, though. <sighs> I wonder how long it's been now. Two weeks. You kept track? I've been marking the wall. Which wall? How did you mark it? <sighs> it's so peaceful. Really? Does that sound weird? There's no war here. No violent murders, no rapes. No innocent children being abducted. Uh, it's all going on in the outside world, though. But at least this way, we don't have to know about it. That's why it's peaceful. No horrible bosses, no annoying drama between co-workers. You don't have to worry about seeing how happy your friends are on social media. Like, I have a new boyfriend, or my child just turned one. Look at all this amazing food I ate at this gorgeous restaurant. I got tired of seeing it. It 
It's all... just like this. That's... Do you know Materlinx, the blue bird? This is a music box using it as a... Oh, uh, music box. Okay. What is it? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. So, what about it is the same? You know how in the end... Wait, but that's a circle. The bird was in Tiltil and Mitil's home all along? They traveled all across the world in search of it. This feels similar. I guess... I mean to say... Happiness is closer than you think. Yeah. In this shelter? Yes. I'm sorry, Diana, but your interpretation is wrong. In the original work, the blue bird escapes the cage and flies away. Happiness will slip through your fingers the moment you believe you have it. It's implying that the process of dreaming is true happiness. Hmm. Well, you just ruined my dream then. <laughs> Touche. Sorry. You won't disappear. Will you? Sigma? Hmm. Not gonna eat it? Hey, what are you doing? It's wasted food. I'm sick of only eating this crap that tastes like dog food. Diana. Uh, we've been trapped in here for a month now. What in the world is Akane doing? It's possible that she doesn't remember anything about it. I'm sure she still had the bracelet on when she left here. And if so, then there's a chance that Zero injected her again so she'd for... No, that's not it. Akane... Akane betrayed us. She murdered Carlos and Junpei and abandoned us just to escape on her own. Maybe Carlos voted for Q-Team because she manipulated him into doing it. Diana, what's gotten into you all of a sudden? Half a month ago, you were happy, saying it was peaceful. That was then. This is now. Has something changed? No. Nothing's changed. Not a single thing. That's why I'm annoyed. Yesterday, today, it's all the same. Same scenery, the same can. I feel like I'm losing my mind. One would be like that. Trapped, you know? Ugh. It's all Rebecca's fault. She was the head nurse. Ugh. She was the one to suggest I join this experiment. I'm not so sure you should be blaming her. You had another reason for signing up for the experiment, didn't you? Yeah, what is it? You're single now, but Diana, you were married before, weren't you? <sighs> yes, but why do you know that? When you were married, your husband often resorted to beating you. He was an alcoholic and recently unemployed. Oof. He screwed up at work, garnering a large debt, if I recall correctly. When the two of you dated, he came across as serious and kind, but no longer. He drank to his eyeballs, was always gambling, and would laugh while he kicked and punched you. For no reason. That was his true face. Of course you left him. But even after the divorce, he persisted in following you around. He'd ask you for money, sex, and if you said no, 
he beat you black and blue. He's even stopped by the hospital cafeteria. You were having lunch with a co-worker of yours. He showed up out of the blue, screaming his head off and flipped the table. Every time he went off on you, he'd always end with, I love you. I love you so much, Diana, and weep. His pain called out to you, and you'd always find yourself caving in. In order to cut all contact with him, you figured the only way it'd work would be to seclude yourself. That's when Rebecca brought it up. Is Rebecca Turned going through the same thing? Experiment facility called or is Rebecca the... So oh, you... is Rebecca Stop. zero? Stop it! That's torture, though. What is the meaning of this? Why do you know? Would you believe me if I said I heard it from you? No. Oh. Hey. Stop playing around. Well, you cleaned the carpet very well, Gab. There you go. Good doggy. Is alcohol really the way to go? You should probably stop now. Can't you leave me alone? Hey, what are you doing? You're not acting like yourself. You're the super weird one here. Ugh. It's been a whole month and a half. How can you be so calm about all this? I... I have some experience with this kind of thing. Wait, do you? Stop talking your nonsense. Give it back! No. I said give it back! Look what you did! Hey, stop! No, 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 no. You can't be looking at that. That's a broken glass. <laughs> You're so silly. You thought I was serious? Like, I'd actually like that? Diana, you're... I can't take it anymore! I'm so sick of this! Hey... Sleep with me? Uh... No. Do you... Hate me? Of course not. Then... Sleep with me. That's not a good idea. Come on, hurry! Oh, I see. You don't have the balls, coward. Then, how about... Won't you kill me? No. Please. <laughs> Wait, they were kill talking me. about the phenomenon where it's better to live you with saying? your loved ones. I'd rather be killed by someone now, than wait to die, wasting away in this- Just cut it out! Wait! Where are you going? Uh... Diana? I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Forgive me, Diana. I could see how you felt. I knew you were crying out for help. But not once did I offer a hand. 
I couldn't. If we got too close, then I, I felt like something would shatter. Will it shatter? You said the shelter was peaceful. That happiness could be found here. I knew you were putting on a brave face. In reality, the one who believed what you said was me. It's just like you said. I'm not brave. I'm a coward and a wimp. Deep down inside, I was scared of change. I didn't... I didn't want to lose you. Like that time. Like that bluebird. I'm so sorry, Sam. I... in the transport pod? I don't think I would ever want to be in the same trans- Look, that's a small pod. I want to be in the same there. I... have a dream. You want to go to the moon, right? You've been obsessed with it since you were a kid. Even your name, Diana, comes from the goddess of the moon. Hmm. Hey, Sigma, can you tell me now why you know so much about me? Uh, I've lived with you for three years. Oh, he's the roommate. Almost everything about you. Huh? It's not your fault you don't understand. I'm talking about the future. But this history doesn't mean it's an extension of that one. Right. It's a different one. Because she did get him out. Okay, so hypothetically... And then they lived together for a bit, let's say learning. Let's right now we're uh, on this knee. If you continue on the path, you'll only reach the end of the right toes. Yeah. You'll never go to the left ones. I was just talking about the left leg path. He shifted from one knee to Sorry. the other knee. I started talking nonsense again. Sigma? Are you really from the future? You believe me? Yeah, I do. Hmm. I think it rather makes the dream better. <laughs> Three months later, they somehow still survived on dog food. I need to tell you something, Sigma. I may be... Wait, is help even going to last for that long? Also, you can't really transport a lot. Hold up, that's a date. Oh, you did amazing, Diana. It's a healthy boy. Wait, hold on. Something. I think. I think there's another. Huh? 
cute. They're so cute. <laughs> yes. Who'd have thought you'd have fraternal twins? You didn't realize? Well, I did have a hunch, but I couldn't be sure. It doesn't matter, as I'm just glad you gave birth safely, even in a place like this. I'm glad too, actually. You, Sigma. There are a lot of things that could have gone wrong, considering there's not medicine in Stop. the ward. I didn't do anything. You gave me your food as soon as you knew I was pregnant. Well, you were the one who did all the work. Thank you, truly. I couldn't be more proud. You know how people claim unconditional love? Uh, I hated that phrase. I thought it was a lie. I thought there's no way something like that exists. Well, I'm a selfish bastard. Every time I help someone, in the back of my mind, I'm expecting recompense. Whether it be gratitude, praise, or a, for a higher power to approve of me. But now, I know. There really is such a thing as unconditional love in this world. There's no doubt in my mind. Man, Zero watched all of this, by the way, and put that on the door. Or praise. I don't believe in God, so it's not for God either. I need nothing in return. I don't care if I fade away. I just want them to be safe. And to survive. That's all I ask. Gab, listen to me. You know that biscuit I just gave you? That was the last one. Oh. There's nothing else left. Thanks for everything. Oh no. We've gone through so much pain. You always listened to me when I vented to you. You've saved me many times. So, thank you. Diana, I want to show you something. Follow me. Oh, wait, could you have transported the twins to a different timeline? Oh, uh, that would actually work. The transporters turned on. Well, it takes nine months. I came by earlier and noticed it. It appears to be completely charged. Sigma, don't tell me. That's right. I'm transporting these two. What? Don't worry. Transporting them doesn't mean they'll disappear. Yeah, it's like a copier. Their original bodies stay behind after they're scanned. Then... Uh, Are you going to say it's pointless? Wait, oh my We're goodness. Out of food. Well, yeah. If we simply do nothing... You understand? One of those twins is Phi. I'm sure you remember. I would think. But it'll take another ten... Because Phi says she had foster parents. So... You're saying? Oh, that is crazy. The last time we can use it then. Which means we can't stay with them. I know. It's past. Only when one body with it. Two or more people cannot go into a single pond. <laughs> well, not not when it's active, no. Apparently, it could be treated like a bed, though. Not the future. It's too dangerous. Then... The oh my goodness. There's no point to send them to the near future. Sometime before Zero obtains this device, they'll have to go before the year 2009. Oh. Okay. 
Did you think of a name? What about you? Remember? We promised. I'd name him if it was a boy. And you would if it was a girl. Then we'll start with the boy. Sigma, your name is from the Greek letter Sigma, right? So, I thought, why don't we name our son Delta? Delta. My first initial is D. And then to connect that D to a Greek letter. Delta? <laughs> I like it. What about the girl? Well, oddly enough, I was considering a Greek letter too. I want to use the one that means the most to me. <gasps> Is it? Phi. Yeah, Phi. I'd like to name our daughter after her. Well, Phi. this presents a weird paradox, though. It's perfect. It's a wonderful name. Because this timeline had to have happened before Sigma oh. even got out at one point. Hold on but just a minute. We gave them their names. It wouldn't be right if someone changed them, would it? I got That's... mother's brooch, which is Spies her own brooch. You're sending it with her? Yes. Where did the brooch even come from in the first Delta, place? I want to give him this. The Blue Bird Music Box. This is a really weird concept. Are you ready? It's just so weird, because, like, they had to get stuck in here to begin with, begin. and it was Zero's plan. Like, Zero had to have been born so that Phi could get transported with Delta. We don't even know what happens to Delta, but I have a feeling that Delta could be Zero. Or something. I don't know. That also means Delta is a shape shifter. Unless. Did Delta survive and become. Q? Hmm. And now they hope it worked, but, uh. I don't know. I don't know if it worked. All right, that's the credits, so that's another ending under our belts. We're getting close to the end of this game, for sure. We are definitely getting close to the end of this game. I think in the next video, we'll see where we need to jump to next. I assume uh, because we got Twin's birthday, now we know what the truth door is, and then we go back to the other Sigma and Diana and open the door. But I also think because this is eight numbers, this could be the force quit box for Q team. Well, Q team, Q team had something to unlock and it was a number password. If Q, if I'm right and Q is Delta, that would totally make sense. D and two with the two baby symbol. Anyways, a silver lining, but we'll have to we'll have to check it out in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys then.